Welcome back, Team Forever. Welcome back, y'all. So I'm back with another Big Brother Season 21 uh, episodes. I don't know what episodes these are. Review. So this week, it's really hard. Let me tell y'all. So if y'all don't know, I'm still on vacation. If y'all watch all my videos, I've been on vacation for like three weeks. And it is really hard to do these videos, I will say. Using my phone, but then just coming home at like 7 in the morning, catching up. Because I didn't avoid spoilers for this one, if I'm honest. I did see somebody that I follow who do review said, Disgusting, cat's eviction. I didn't really like that because I was spoiled. And I usually do a really good job of avoiding spoilers. But I don't know. It's just like, it's difficult to do this. Because then like I got to make this video at like 7 in the morning. It don't get posted till like 10 in the morning. And probably like 11 in the morning uh, Eastern. And like, I don't know. Oh, but and then like I don't take any notes for the whole week, so I'm just like winging it. So Tommy won H O H, and uh, what was the H O H competition? Oh, so it was a little. Actually, that was discussed in my last video. Tommy won an H O H. So this week was supposed to go really, really easy, really, really smooth. So he nominated Cat and Cliff, which I actually predicted that he would do that. Like it seemed like what he would do. I really wanted Cliff to go. I really did want Cliff to go. And when you listen to Cat's speech, Cat made so much sense. And this is like, this is why I like, uh, I kind of like Jessica more. And like Cat just was growing on me. Cause you know, my favorite been Nicole and was Nicole for a long, long time. And I said like, I had no second place. I didn't really like anybody. I like Christy because that's who I want to win. I was who I, ultimately want to win, but I didn't like her as a person. Nicole was the only person I liked as a person, and then it's like, I was just warming up to Kat, and she was like, almost overtaking Nicole in a way, especially because of her speech, to, well, not her speech, her interview tonight, where she said, she admitted that she was keeping her friends close and her enemies closer, and I do believe her inside the interview, because she had no reason to lie. She said she would've took Mickey out, but then, like, it's so... I'm sorry this review is all over the place. It's not about to be like your typical review of each episode. I'm just reviewing the week. It's just so hard with Kat because she said, and I quote, I was going to take him out the second I got the chance. Probably not an exact quote, actually. But you had the chance last week. You literally had the chance last week. You could have taken him out. Because that would have been sis, or sis, Christy, uh, Tommy and then her. Would they have needed one more? Oh, that would have been a tie. So they would have probably just tried to get Nick. Uh, but, like, you had the chance to take him out. And when they were trying to get you to vote him out, you saved Jackson. And I think that was what really, really took you out, Kat, is that nobody believed what you were spilling. And, like, you saying that you taking Jackson out and you're not working with Holly, y'all don't know each other, all this crap, but at the end of the day, you had a chance to take Jackson out, and you didn't. And at the end of the day, you cannot fight for your safety and say, I'm going to backdoor Jackson. Jackson's my target. Jackson's my target, and I'm going to put Holly next to him. But two of the votes that you know you're going to get is Jackson and Holly. It makes no sense. that So the other side of the house was spot on with getting her out, even though I don't like the decision. Nicole's an idiot, kind of, because why would you vote for Cliff? And then, like, you even look at the the HOH competition. Like, there was no way Cliff was winning that. Most things that's physical, Cliff is at an extreme disadvantage. And he's hurt now. So why wouldn't you take Kat, who has proven herself to be a good mental competitor and a good physical competitor? Yes, yeah, she has a good social game, but she's not targeting you. Like, Nicole, I like Nicole, but I... It's hard to root for the underdogs in this season because Jess ain't no good game player either. She made one good move. Jessica made one good move this whole game, so I can't just say she's a good. But anyway, uh, OTEF competition. That was fun. That's probably my favorite veto competition is OTEF, mainly just because of the, the lineage. Is that a word? Whatever. The, um, yeah, like, it, it's a classic. It's like, like, that's a good, like, that's like, OG Big Brother. And I I'm, I know I just started watching last year, but I went back and watched the other episode, other seasons. Um, funny that Jackson got out first because he's like the physical threat that you thought would win. They really played up that Cat and Cliff thing. Like, that was not a big deal at all. Why were people crying? And 
<laughs> Look at each other. That is so funny to me. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about America's Field Trip. That child, See, this is why I need to take notes. So, Christy was the third nominee. This really did cause a lot of drama. If I didn't know what happened by watching the feeds, this would have been a very dramatic week to watch. But And I really didn't want Clip, Christy to leave. I really didn't want to. But Mickey, this is the most happy he ever been. And, like, I definitely don't like him. But he was more likable because he knew Hey, America don't like us. They wouldn't have voted for us. It's me, Christy, and Sis. Like, what? Sis is an idiot thinking that America... This is the thing, though. Only person I think America would not like is Jackson. Because he's done racist things. He's done, like, bad things to Cat and stuff like that. But Christy hasn't done anything really bad to where people would dislike her. I don't think she's hated at all. Like, what has she done? She hasn't done anything to me. And also, who else would it be? And at least I can see why people wouldn't like her because they just think, you know, she doesn't do anything. She's a waste of space. I could have been on the show. Not me, myself, but a watcher, a viewer could be thinking, I should be on the show. Why is, you know, so I can see that. Uh, but anyway, and at least got a punishment wearing a chicken suit. It was funny because it's a suit. Like any of the time you're wearing something, I don't even think you have to do other things. Did they even show what she had to do on the show? She had to wear a suit and then go lay some eggs. Did they even show that part? I don't even remember if they showed her hatching the eggs or whatever. But anyway, and Jackson got safety. Christy got on the block. Christy was annoying without her crying, but I like that she made fun. Ugh, I'm just a fan of hers. So she she made a joke about like, about like um, something was more paranoid than her. Like she knew, oh, Otep. Otep was more paranoid than her. Really, Nick, I like that he's playing the middle, but he is, like, so obviously playing the middle. Like, horrible game players, Nick. Oh, and Nick got got dumped. <laughs> kind of funny, like, but then, like, she, she dumped him, and then she made a tweet right after and was like, oh, we'll talk about this. Bella, know your worth. Know your worth. That's all I got to say. She probably don't have a house, so she, that's bad to say on camera. Because that was a joke because, well, not really a joke, but because on the feed, she kept talking about how she lives with a boyfriend and she thought she would go go home to nothing because he thought they were together or ex or something. He thought they were together, but on the show, she. And how about, do y'all watch the feed? Did y'all see Jackson and Holly having sex in the bed neck, right next to Christy and Annalise? While Christian and Annalise were awake. If y'all have not seen that. Oh my god. Go on my Twitter. I definitely retweeted it. It it, it was. It was gross. To know that Jackson and Holly. More Holly. Because Holly expressed not wanting to. Ugh. She expressed not wanting to have sex on camera. Because of the feeds. And now she's not only having sex on camera, but she's having sex on camera with people in the room awake. Anyway, let's just get to the eviction. So a whole bunch of this week was supposed to be easy. Anybody could have went. Oh, this is what I like what Tommy did. That's how I will handle my HRHs. Put two people up and you don't care who goes home because either way, you know, all these deals that Cliff made, he played big brother. But I agree with Kat. Like eventually he running out of deals. If he wins, who are we going to put up? Like. And Nicole, like, why would you be okay with him doing that? Like, his deal don't include you. Eventually, he, his deal, he might make a deal to where, all right, if I win, I'm putting up Nicole. What's wrong with you? Like, what? And Nick trying to think he owns Nicole. He's a creep. Poor Nick, though. I feel bad for Nick because he definitely lost his job. Or did he actually lose his job, actually? I think he did lose his job, but... But actually, maybe it's for the better because you don't want nobody like that being a therapist. You never know what he... Ugh. I'm sorry, Nick. I feel bad for you, but the way you act on the show is unacceptable. It's hard to watch. It's creepy. So much love, Nick, or you need to go. Um, so at this point, not a cat's gone. I do think she was one of my favorites, but... Anyway, house blew up. I don't really got much to say about it. Like, I watched it live on the feeds. I actually recorded it on my phone, but I forgot to post it. And now that it's, like, weeks later, or not weeks later, like a day later, I'm pretty sure it's 
Well, it's the next week. It's the next HOH cycle. I'm pretty sure nobody cares to see that. I did record it, though. I'm going to just delete it. Uh, I saw the whole blow up. I feel like Cliff made a lot of sense saying I'm playing Big Brother. This is so that I can survive another week. If I don't survive another week, then I can't protect Jess. Simple as that. But I also understand what Kat is saying. But Cliff made more sense than Kat, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Cat, like your campaign, all this crap was just horrible. I'm sorry, but you had a chance to take Jackson out last week. And you cannot say I'm targeting Jackson. You've been saying you targeting Jackson before last week. And last week you had the chance to take him out and you didn't. And you really look like a fool because of your eviction speech two evictions ago where you said all this crap about women this and women that and you you were basically targeting jackson with that speech and then you kept him you voted to keep him cat i do think i probably did like you more than nicole because but then again nicole never did anything wrong this whole season but but cat was just more entertaining she was winning competitions she was playing the game and she was loyal as hell she had a good social game. Kat was probably my favorite. She overtook Nicole. I just, I'm just going to hope that she comes back in the battle back. I think Kat, at this point, my favorite is Nicole again. And I guess I like Cliff. And I can see Cliff winning this game. I really can. If Nick won this game, would that qualify him for the worst Big Brother winner of all time? Because of just how he acts. Or Jackson. Jackson, too. But that's it for this video, y'all. I, I think this is dragging. Oh, it's not that long. But um, so anyway, they have voted to evict Kat. I'm so mad that Holly and Jackson voted to evict Kat. At the end of the day, why not just vote to keep her? Whatever. She leaving anyway. Like, this season is so stupid with the whole, let's vote with the house. Like, no. Like, so stupid. Jess was the only one that voted to keep Kat. And I'm glad Kat only hugged Jessica. And she just told everybody else bye. Her interview with Julie, I gotta watch the extended version, but a lot of stuff she didn't say, she said didn't make sense. She she dragged a lot with her talking, but she's entertaining. I'm pretty sure her extended interview will be better than her actual live interview. Like she made sense, but it was just like dragged so long to get to a simple point. It's like if I ask you, what's your favorite color? And you'd be like, well, Green limes are very cute, but you know, blue is nice when it's like dark, but not too dark. And pink, if it's, it can be, pink is better than orange, but yellow is better than pink. So my favorite color is probably red. That's like what I feel like Kat's interview was like, it was so weird. Like she acts like, well, she did have to give a straight up answer when she said, would you have won with Holly or Nicole and Jess? She said Nicole and Jess. I do like that. And if she would have won with Nicole and Jess, damn, but can you imagine if the final three was Nicole, Jessica, and Kat? I feel like Jessica would have got a, a clear path to the final two. Because I feel like they both are more close with Jess. That's just what I think. But Nicole is more close with Cliff. Let me end this video, y'all. So... Spoiler alert, if you don't want the spoilers to the HOH competition, shut off the video now. All right, so Jackson won the HOH. It was a slip and slide. That's one of my favorite competitions because I just like the fall and I think it's funny. But as soon as I saw that it was a slip and slide, I knew Jackson was going to win. That was my prediction. Jackson was going to win. I also thought Nick might win and I also thought that I think Kat could would have done better inside this competition. But I thought Holly, Holly, Kat, Holly, Jackson, or Nick. And Nick... From the looks of it, he took off. He was going the fast in the beginning, but maybe that was his, to his detriment. But y'all, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video on all forms of social media. Let's discuss this show inside the comment section down below. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.